This video is made to show you and hopefully teach you how to replace a bad motor on a drone, a V950HD drone. Remove the propeller, there's one screw, it's pretty easy. I turn it around to see the gears, there's three screws here. Um, use your tiny screwdriver to take it out. Save all your screws in a little cap and use a magnetic tip screw. Remove the panel, it slides right out pretty easy, set it aside, and it exposes the gears. So once you removed all those three screws, that little thing comes out and it has the motor uh, in there. So you're going to remove the motor. Actually, first you remove the, the gear with the screwdriver very carefully, don't break anything. Once it's removed, you're going to reuse that. So you're going to take the motor out with the pliers and set it aside. And I have my new motor is shorter and skinnier, so do the research before you buy one. So I'm going to have to use tape to make it thicker so it fits in there. And I'm going to reuse that white gear and I'm going to take off that new one. So test your motor first. I've already done this. Get a AA battery and just connect the wires on either side of the battery doesn't matter yeah so make sure you buy the right motor but get ready to put the new motor in the compartment again we're going to use tape to make it tight so it's stabilized and uh, put that gear on the new one so get ready to cut the old wire out with scissors and you're gonna get rid of the old one you can test it again with the battery if you need to leave plenty of wire so you can get it back in there uh, then prepare to solder so you strip down the four ends, the hot, the neutral, and the hot and the neutral. And I put a piece of foil so I didn't mess up my table. I stabilized the wires with my um, needle nose. And I, I stabilized them so where I didn't need anybody's help. And I just dripped the solder on the wires. I didn't heat up the wire. just dripped the solder on there very easily. Do the blue. Do the red. Then... Uh, get ready to put it all back together and I left extra wire so I had to play with it and circle your wire get it in there and turn it on make sure the LEDs come on because you don't want to install it for nothing put the panel back on but before you do make sure the wires aren't getting chopped by anything my screw was hitting the wire and it, it, I taped them together to get that cleared up and then I uh, accidentally broke that piece but you didn't see that so I just put some tape there so put the propeller back on and uh, it's only one screw again in this video I forgot to put on the guard um, plug it back in you see the LEDs come on and turn on your remote control and fire it up turn it on Show the drone a little bit closer. And then make sure all the motors work. They're all spinning, I already tried it. So let's try to get it off the ground. Oh my god, that's great. This is my drone, so I actually don't know how to control it, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, it works perfect, so that's how you replace your motor.